my friend, and welcome to There She Rose podcast. This is your host, Jamie C. I'm so happy you're here. Seriously, so grateful. So grateful. I love my community so much. I just wanted to first off say, today's content, get your notebooks. Get your notebooks. It's going to be a doozy. Oh, if you've ever had your digital products, like kind of just like sitting there collecting dust and you're like, I'm posting, but why aren't they buying? I feel like I'm doing all the things. What the heck? I don't understand why it's not working. So this is for all my bitty bops who uh, are currently having online programs. We want to position and amplify sales. Uh, so I'm really, really excited. And also if you have never created an online program, that's okay. I also can support and guide you. I kind of have an entire program that I do that inside of my CEO club. But also if you haven't done it, please take note of this because this is going to be some of the most important stuff that we talk about when it comes to being able to sell online. When you're in the moment of nobody cares about my programs, nobody cares about my membership, I'm gonna tell you, they don't. I know you were thinking I was gonna say something different, but this literally, I'm just gonna tell you, nobody gives a flying poop about your programs or your memberships. You know what they actually care about? They care about their ROI. They care about how they're gonna be supported. They're gonna care the most about where they are and where they wanna be and if that program and or membership is going to get them there. The transformation that they really, really desire. And the most important thing to remember is that they also are probably uh, not going to be just diving into your content and being like, yes, I'm ready to buy immediately, immediately. Sometimes that will happen when you have a program Number one, your messaging has to be super dialed in. This is what I support my clients with all the time. But at the end of the day, if they're not purchasing, a few things to remember is that it often has to do with your marketing. And that's kind of where we're going to start diving in. We're going to do a little audit of your current plan right now and how we can start auditing what's happening within your social media marketing, within you know your messaging, within your sales pages, and making sure that you've got everything tip top so people are like, I'm ready to buy. I really wanna do this, I really wanna buy. And it's kind of like a hell yes, take my money, whip out my credit card, I'm ready to do the damn thing kind of vibe versus a, I have a million questions and I'm not really sure, or maybe next time. None of that. Let's go to the first thing is that I'm so fucking proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Can I just stop for a second and say that? Because when's the last time someone said, hey, I'm really proud of you for creating programs online and showing up all the time and doing the damn thing. You should be so proud of yourself. Gosh, look at you. You're doing it. We just need a little refinement, babe. We just got a little, swi a little switchery do of your messaging. Let's just make it more magnetic. But at the end of the day, you're doing fantastic. Don't give up, okay? You're doing amazing. And I'm really proud of you. I'm in your corner. I am your cheerleader. I am the person that wants to see you succeed more than any, more than you do probably. Honestly, it's a little weird how much I love seeing you win, <laughs> but I do. Can't help it. So let's go to the first thing, which is your ROI. Here's a couple things to remember. Return on investment. This can look like a couple different things. What is their life going to look like after they purchase your program. I want you to jot these things down, write a list. What is their life going to look like? And then most importantly, what is their life going to feel like? What are they going to be able to feel now that they have this versus what they were feeling before? Because a lot of times is that a return on investment, oftentimes they're like, okay, well, great, Jamie, you teach people how to, to make money. That's a return on investment. Yes. But guess what? You don't want to actually make more money. You're going to say, Jamie, yes, I do. No, you don't. No, you don't. You know what you actually want? Time freedom. You know what you want? Ease. You know what you want? To pay your bills without giving a sh You know what else you want? Probably go on vacation whenever you want. Go shopping whenever you want. Be able to give back to your community. Go be able to do whatever the hell you are able to do now. That's what you want. You don't want the physical dollar. You don't want an actual, you don't want to like a 100K launch. You want to be able to do whatever comes next. That's what you really want. So I want you to think about that. You may be a healer. You may be a spiritual healer. You may do meditations. You may be able, you uh, maybe you're a hypnotist. I have a lot of hypnotists in my, in my, in my membership group, which is insane. Oh, speaking of which, I didn't even tell you. I launched a membership and that shit is dope. It is so cool. If you're looking for online amplifying sales behind the scenes of everything I do, oh my God, this community is literally brilliant. Anyways, I'll get back to that at the end. Okay, so beep, 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 bringing it back around. What is their life going to look like and feel like 
What are they going to be able to do now that you have rewired their subconscious mind? Now that you have released money blocks, now that you have, I don't know, help them with a 401k. I don't know, whatever you do, whatever you help them with bookkeeping. I have a lot of clients of a broad, vast variety. I'm pulling from all the people that I've helped make a lot of money. And what does their life feel like? And bring this down to singular moments. I cannot stress this enough. Stop using umbrella terms. I love you so much. Please stop using umbrella terms. And what I mean by umbrella terms is like your life feels better. Let's We're going to draw that right back in. Now you're able to wake up in the morning without that heaviness in your chest. There's an ease. There's a feeling of flow. You have slow, that slow morning where you can snuggle your baby and put on Netflix and not have to go to work. Mm, you make pancakes from scratch versus from the box, frozen from the box, because you have that extra time to do it. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. When we think about the ROI, we've got a flip side, babe. We've got a flip side. What most people forget, especially my online entrepreneurs out there, my online coaches who have high ticket programs, group coaching, signature programs that are like $900 and up. Those are, that's like considered high ticket is $900 and up. If you are selling high ticket, let me tell you something. You are going to need to include something that's better than that. That is a little bit more than that. And it is called COI. And it's not anything to do with ROI. ROI is your return on your investment, what you're gaining, what you're gaining. Cost of inaction. What does life continue to be like if they don't invest? I will tell you for, let's just say my membership. If you don't invest in the membership, you're probably going to post and pray. You have no idea if what you're posting is actually going to convert. You're probably trying to figure it out alone, trying to figure out why your posts aren't working, why your messaging isn't landing. You're using bro pain point marketing instead of desire marketing and people are feeling e icky about it and they're not purchasing. You're not making sales and you're trying to figure it all out yourself and you're throwing spaghetti at the wall trying to figure out why. And then you enter into my membership and I tell you why. And you enter into a community where there's uh, like hundreds of other online entrepreneurs who can help you as well. Like when I tell you this group of people is literally insane. So now think about what are they going to have to continue doing if they don't take action. That's COI, cost of an action. Huge thing for high cost investments. So now let's get down to the transformation, shall we? So when it comes to the transformation of your program, do you actually know the big picture transformations and micro transformations? Those are huge. And when we are going to share these, we're going to drip and drizzle them with storytelling. Nobody gives a flying crap how many modules you have, how long the classes are, maybe a 0.5%, 0.05%. When you just list the modules, and you list what's inside and you don't drip it and drizzle it with storytelling, you are not bringing them on a, on a transformational desire marketing journey. And oftentimes it can just miss the mark completely. When you create micro transformational storytelling inside of your content, whether it's in your captions, which I teach inside of my membership, whether it's on your sales pages, which I teach inside of all of my programs, whether it's inside of... Uh, your masterclass, however you're marketing your business. This could be through Pinterest. This could be through Facebook. This could be through Instagram. This could be through TikTok. Whatever channel that you are using, adding storytelling will amplify sales triple. Here's why. I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm going to walk you through why this, why? Because it's really important to understand why. When you read a book, you are transported to another place. You see pictures in your brain. It brings you through these visceral experiences. You get to know the characters. You can see yourself in the characters. You can, you are transported emotionally, physically, spiritually to a place that you are not currently. So if you can imagine a time you've read a book and you were transported to another place in time and you felt something different, that is what storytelling in your content will do. And when you think about the transformation of your programs, that's what we add into your captions. That's what we add into your sales pages. That's what we add into your master classes. That's what we add into your email marketing. It's storytelling. Storytelling is captivating. It creates pictures in the mind, which creates visceral experiences in the body. And when someone is transported to another place in time, like you are with a book or an audio tape, but they are brought through to the transformation that they wish their life would be like, guess what? 
if they're not ready to purchase, they are going to be, they're going to be scoping out what you got going on. They're going to be on your email list. They're going to be in your DMs. There's going to, they're going to be in your low ticket offers. They're going to be somewhere in your space because you have painted a picture for them that is unlike just listing out what's in a module, listing out, learn how to post on Instagram, learn how to create email marketing. No, create stories that bring them to a time and place. And I promise you, it is going to convert triple fold in your business. I promise you. I actually had one of my one of my strategy audit clients. She actually DM'd me. Um, I think this was a couple months ago when she was going through um, one of my programs, Cashflow Confidential. She was going through the content and she was like, oh my God, the storytelling. She goes, I would have never done this on my own. You're a genius. It just changed my whole business. And the amount of like... <sighs> traction that she's getting in her business now because of implementing. Oh, God. okay. I'm getting off topic. Let's go back to the next thing that they want to know is how will they be supported? Make sure that you're adding this into your content in your sales pages specifically or in your masterclasses if you're using masterclasses to pitch your programs. This is huge. This is probably one of the biggest things. Are they going to have one-on-one -on -one touch points? When will they be able to get in touch with you? Is a self-led? Is there a group calls? What is included in there in your programs to be able to make sure that they feel, is it community led? What, let them know. These are all the things that I really want you to audit inside of your current sales pages and content. Just reiterating that really they don't care about your programs. No one gives a shit about Cashflow Confidential until I tell them the transformation that my program's gonna give them. No one's gonna give a shit about my membership. She creates wealth until I tell them the transformation that they can expect when they get inside. No one's gonna give a flying crap about CEO Club or High Vibe Money if I don't say what the transformation is. Nobody cares. Nobody cares that I launched a membership. I mean, some honestly though, beep, 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 some people did. <laughs> Some people actually said, thank you so much. I've been waiting for this. But those are like my ride or dies. Those are my raving fans. Those are my people who are like in my DMs and we're chatting all the time. Here's what I'm going to have you audit. I'm going to have you audit. Do you have ROI? Emotional ROI, physical ROI built in. And also if you have a high ticket program, COI, cost of inaction. Is that also built in? The transformation. Transport them to a time and place through dripping delicious storytelling. This is also desire marketing, which is you're going to find all my desire marketing content inside of my membership. So if that's some place that you want and wealth mindset. So if you're looking for all that juicy good stuff, that's where you head. And a little bonus is if you have a time basically can kind of, I don't like to say guarantee, but estimate that someone would be able to reach the goal in X amount of time, include that as well. That's pretty helpful. Even if it's an average time frame, I've guessed there's always things that are happening in somebody's life. You can't guarantee anything, right? Unless it's you. You can guarantee your own process, but you can't guarantee anyone else's process because you don't know where they're starting from or what their mindset is or you know if they're going to be doing the work and dedicated to it and things of that nature. So here's what I want you to do next. Go through and audit all of those things and then go to my membership and get your butt inside because you're missing out. It's so freaking amazing. And don't take my word for it. Literally just go on my Instagram stories and you can see everyone that's like, holy, <laughs> I've never been on a platform like this. Oh my God. The amount that I've learned in literally 24 hours is insane. <laughs> just check it out for yourself. And also just letting you know, there's, there's no contracts with it. Like stay as long as you see value. And if you don't see value, bop on out. No hard feelings. I want you to find value in it. And if you don't, that's okay. You might just be in the next season where you need one of my more advanced programs, my A to Z frameworks, which I can always guide and support you with. So down in the show notes, everything you need to be able to take the next step in your business. And if you are not ready to take an actionable step, whether it's uh, time or money, because guess what? You got two resources, time and money, baby. And when you want to be able to get more time, sometimes you got to invest money. And when you have the time, you, wait, I said that backwards. You know what I mean. You got two resources. Use both of them to your advantage wherever, what season you're in. And I love you so much. I'm going to backtrack to what I said before. I love you. I think you're doing amazing. If no one has told you today that you're absolutely incredible, that you're remarkable, none of this is for naught. Even in a slow season, I promise you, 
the work that you are putting out there is meant to be seen by people. Something's dropping in and I'm just going to drop I'm just going to share it really really quickly. I want you to remember that you are someone's unanswered prayer. Someone woke up this morning with a prayer that said, "Please show me a solution to this. Please show me how to reach this goal." And then they find you because you're no longer hiding and you're showing up. You are someone's prayer. Okay. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on There She Rose podcast. And I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Okay, bye-bye for now.